My name is Eric Speth. I am from Williamsburg, Virginia. We're aboard the Godspeed in the Chesapeake Bay today. Excellent. And will you tell me about the ship that we're sailing on? Sure. Godspeed is a replica of one of the three ships that carried the colonists and supplies to Jamestown in 1607, establishing the first permanent English settlement in America. Excellent. And how does this ship that we're on today differ from the one that they sailed on in 1607? This version of the Godspeed is based on the most recent scholarship and it's as close as we believe we can get to what the original Godspeed looked like. So the original Godspeed was a vessel of 40 tons and that's the cargo capacity that the vessel could carry. And uh, size-wise, it's 65 feet long, beam of about 17 feet, and draft of about seven and a half feet. How long have you been sailing? If I could add, let me add the other two ships. Does that please, add no, value please. to you? Absolutely. Okay, good, good. Godspeed is docked at Jamestown Settlement along with the Susan Constant, which is the largest ship and the smallest vessel of Discovery. And how old are the replica ships? These were built uh, at varying times. This, this latest version of Godspeed was built and commissioned in 2006. The new version of the Discovery was built and commissioned in 2007. The Susan Constant was built in uh, 1990. How long have you been sailing here? I've been sailing my entire life. I grew up on a bay in uh, Long Island and started sailing at a very young age, about six months old. How long have you been living in Virginia? I moved to Virginia 25 years ago. And would you mind outlining some of your family history, where your parents from? Sure, sure. Um, one thing that I find so interesting about Godspeed is that it carried the first colonists to Jamestown in Virginia in 1607, so we're a nation of immigrants, and my grandparents immigrated to the United States from Germany in the early 1920s. And what is in your backyard? You can answer uh, that figuratively or literally. I feel so fortunate to have in my backyard uh, the historic triangle of Virginia. So I have Jamestown Settlement in my backyard and Colonial Williamsburg and, and Yorktown and of course the Chesapeake Bay and all of its tributaries. And what's your favorite part of the state of Virginia? My favorite part is the Chesapeake Bay and the tributaries. Uh, as a boater, I love to be out on the Chesapeake Bay, and uh, I boat in many different forms. So I'm on sailboats, sailing ships, on power boats, and also I love to kayak. And out of those, what's, it, what's your favorite form of aqua transportation? It would have to be sailing on the replica ships from Jamestown Settlement. I find this very satisfying because we are able to sail Godspeed. We're able to sail Godspeed as uh, a floating classroom. So when it sails from Jamestown Settlement, like on this voyage that we're currently on, we sail to two ports on the eastern shore of Virginia where the ship hosted nearly 500 students, mostly fourth graders, and that's when they're learning Virginia history and we uh, engage them in a hands-on and very participatory program where the students learn about what the life of the sailor was like, what it was like to be a colonist on board, and how to navigate a ship across the ocean and find the place that you were sailing towards. About how many students every year visit one of the three ships? Oh, I don't think you want to quote me on that That's number. Okay. There's someone in the gym. <laughs> I can get you right. that number, but I would... I'm thinking it's uh, more than 200,000 students a year visit Jamestown Settlement. And last question, what are your hopes for the future? My hopes for the future are that the Chesapeake, the, 
my, my hopes for the future are that the health of the Chesapeake Bay continues to increase and get better and that my children and their children will have this wonderful asset and resource to enjoy just like I have.